It's hard to believe I get paid to play with robots all day. Robots can have a huge societal impact, whether they're helping soldiers safely explore an urban environment, helping first responders find people who need help in a crisis situation, or accompanying elderly as they go about their ordinary lives, trying to encourage social and physical activity. One of the problems that really interests my group is how to make teams of robots much more robust to the types of errors that they might encounter in the real world. These sorts of errors can oftentimes cause huge problems in terms of maintaining a good map of the environment. We built a team of 14 robots, which ultimately won the Magic 2010 competition. The robots worked together to complete an urban reconnaissance mission, building a map, looking for improvised explosive devices, and communicating this information in real time to a human commander. The work that we do for robotics is actually applicable to a lot of systems that might not ordinarily be considered robots. We're working with the Federal Railway Administration to build a system capable of detecting unsafe railroad crossings where there's insufficient sight line due to vegetation growth or a humped crossing where a truck might get hung up. We're using a combination of laser and video data in order to detect and identify these dangerous crossings. I think the most important thing for roboticists to learn is that theory really matters. A fundamental understanding of a problem leads to a better engineered system. And so both with my teaching and with my students, we really emphasize both concepts and application. No, 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 no,